So guys, one of the most frequent questions I'm always asked on my DMs is how I export most of my Photoshop designs, especially banners, for printing. So today guys, I decided to show you the techniques, technologies and steps in which you can export your Photoshop designs for large format printing. So without further ado guys, let's get started. So quickly guys, let's head over to Photoshop. And the first thing I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to be opening my brief so that you guys will see what I'm working on and how to effect this while you're working on your own projects. Okay, so let me just open this right here. So as you can see, this is a design brief from our, our client and uh, you can see Domino City in Korea designed the flex for our George signboard with just our George logo name and our Sino Pastor image. And as you can see, this uh, the size is included in this project. That means that we have a specific size that we are working with on this project. So whenever I have a brief that is similar to this, this is what you need to do because we have to understand that 10 by 5 feet is not the size that is available on Photoshop. So when you are working on a project like this, be 20 by 10, be it uh, 3 by 7 for your of banner or any banner you are working on, this is the easiest way to handle it in Photoshop. So what you have to do when you have a project like this, just head over to File, New. Okay, let me just drag this. And what you have to do is, since the size of the project is 10 by 5 feet, and Photoshop is not accustomed to designing feet, all you need to do is impute your size in inches. So let me just do that quickly. So we're going to be changing these big cells to inches. And then for my widths, I'll be using 10. And then for my height, I'll be using 5, which is specified in the, proje in the project. So you can see that this is the size that was specified in the project. Okay, so for your resolution, make sure that you're using a 300 resolution. This resolution is actually called a print rate resolution in Photoshop because this is the standard resolution that you can actually use when it comes to printed and all that. So for the color mode, you can actually start off with an RGB color mode, but there might be some changes as we design. So let me just um, play a fast video of me designing and then I'll explain what you do after designing. So let's just head over to create. Welcome back once again, guys. Uh, one of the reasons why I fast forwarded this video is that that's not the basic thing I came here to teach. I came here to teach you how to export your design to print, but I just wanted to create like the design and show you how to start it. So that's the reason why I had to fast forward um, that video of myself actually designing the the flyer. But um, it's not what we came here to learn today. So let's just head over script to the point. So once you are done designing this on Photoshop and you have your design looking nice and all that, and do want to remember that the dimensions we use for this project is the one that we are giving in the brief. So what I'm going to do now next to actually make this design able to be printed on the large format printer or on a flex machine is that I'm going to head over to first image and then what I want to do is I want to change my color mode like I said initially to CLYK and it will ask you this question changing modes can affect the appearance of layers 
flatten image before mode change. Just hit OK. So flatten and hit OK. So once you've converted this your design to a CNYK color mode, the next thing you are going to do is you are going to head over to image once again. But this time around, you are heading over to image size. And then, um, let me just drag this in. And then for your image size, you're going to leave your width and your height at 10 feet by 5 feet. But what you're going to do is that you're going to now increase your resolution from 300. And um, I normally tell people where you're actually increasing this resolution. Actually, it depends on your system and the hardware capabilities of your system. And um, increasing this on a low-end PC might actually give you like stress or will actually hang your system. So these are the ranges you can actually increase this to. You can increase this to 600 resolution. You can increase this to 800 and you can increase this to 1000. So it's almost the same effect. But to be safe here on my system, because the machine I'm using right now is not that strong. It's not that, um, it's not that heavy. So what I'm going to be using for this is 800. And then for, for this uh, resample option, you have to select Preserve Details 2.0. So if you are using from Photoshop 2018 down, you are going to see these options. And what this option does is that it smoothens the edges of your designs. Let me say you have a flex you want to print and then there are lots of tests on that, um, on that design. I noticed that when you place it onto Photoshop, the test becomes fuzzy. This is because of Photoshop is meant to be a raster image file. And if you check what raster is on Google, this just means um, image files. And one thing about raster image files is that they can be extended to a higher size. So that's what we call pixelated. When you pixels make up a picture or an image. So when you overstretch this image, it becomes pixelated. That's why you can see that it's either blurred or fuzzy. So using Preserve Details 2.0 will help smoothen the edges of your test and it will help make the particular feel of your design look better and more beautiful. So let me just show you what I mean. So if you notice, if we reduce this, you can see that there are some, there are some little bit of fuzziness and pixelation that is all around this picture. But just notice as I increase this, notice that that fuzziness reduces. And you can see that we have um, a straight image that is already looking very, very beautiful. So what you now do after selecting all this is you head over to OK. And then depending on how heavy or how, or how good your system is or how powerful your system is in terms of processor speed, and storage it actually determines how fast this image is going to be processed so let me just fast forward to the part where we have this design here okay it actually came faster on this system than i thought so as you can notice this image now is looking bigger and um, better and if i zoom into this you notice that there is little fuzziness on the test. There is no, there is no, um, there is no pixelation anywhere on this image. I can see that the image is very, very clear. Even when I go to the pastor's image, the stats is actually very, very clear. There is no pixelation. There is no uh, fuzziness anywhere in this design. So let me just zoom it out. So you can see the change in quality and um. And, and 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 look of this design so what i want to do right after now is that i now want to head over to file save us or for those that will be using earlier versions of photoshop you can see export as anyone both of them are the same thing or anyone you want so i'll head over to save us and depending on the app you are going to take this to which is normally corel draw so you notice many printers what they normally use is Corel Draw to export works to their machines or to their printers. So the best format to save this is either you use JPG or you use PDF. 
So is it that I use this JPG option right here or use PDF? But for me, I'm going to be using JPG. So just rename it whatever you want. Let me just name it DC Query Flex 10 five five sorry sorry about that so as you can see right now this is what you are going to do just very very simple and then once you hit save so once you hit save you can now take this uh image or this design to corel draw and once you take it to corel draw or you give it to the printer to print for you you actually notice that it's much clearer and brighter than when you send it on that little quality that it is. So just send it to your printer and you notice that it's very, very much clearer. But if you are the one that is going to be expanding it or enlarging it on Corel Draw, you have to make sure that you are using the original document size that was intended. So for example, remember that I sent this work out in 10 by 5 inches with the resolution in 600 and I later changed it to but when you are now expanding it you have to expand it to this original size which is 10 by 5 feet before you print it so that's depending on if you are the person that is printing the product or if you are sending it to your printer so guys that's it for today and uh, thank you guys once again for staying to the end of this video and um if you are new to my channel, do well to subscribe to my channel. This is a channel where we share Photoshop designs and uh, tutorials and Photoshop tips on how to work and enhance your skill set of Photoshop. But if you already subscribed to my channel, do well to like the video, do well to comment on the video and share this video with who you know that might be needing this. I've had so many people asking me questions about how to do this. So do well to share this video with whosoever you know that needs this. And guys, I'll be signing off for now. See you guys in my next video. Mess Graphics out.